Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see. These uh, you know, in my DMs and all on these uh, you know, these blog sites and whatnot, talking about you know, the West Coast ain't with you and and you ain't you know you ain't this and you ain't that and you siding with this and that nigga when y'all heard me say a mother thing about who i'm siding with or this and that nigga. i'll be in my own lane chilling nigga, taking care of my kids out the way nigga that's how i made it this far in this game man a lot of y'all you know a lot of y'all fans it's kind of easy to sit where y'all sitting at your house and try to look engaged from where y'all sitting but it's a lot of that go on in this industry, man, and that uh, you know y'all can see from uh, you know what happens to some of you know some 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 of y'all certain celebrities y'all follow and whatnot. This what it's all cracked up to be, and because I don't want to play internet games with niggas all the time or be on this every day or be on these and these people red carpet or doing all this, I like for me, man. I got into the game thinking that it was gonna be one way and it was a whole other way, so I had to you know. Navigate Money. myself, you know, anybody that really know me that's in this industry, and I'm talking about anybody you could ask my go ask Dr. Dre, man, like sit Dr. Dre down and really ask that about who I am and my character and, uh, you know, like what he really feel about me at the end of the day as a man, nigga. and all the rest of that shit. I'm about as a man, nigga, you know what I'm saying? R.I.P. my nigga Nip, but ask Nip his, you know, if you could ask Nip himself, he would have told you, and he did tell you out his own mouth, nigga, what, you know, I contributed, you know, to his career. From the beginning, West Coast, nigga, coming straight out of West Side Cedar Block, Bompton, Piru, um, which is still my hood to this day, nigga, ain't never slacked, ain't never ran, ain't never did nothing but throw the Nigga, I took that Cincinnati hat worldwide, nigga. I put on for Compton, nigga. And I put on for the West Coast, nigga. And Top Dog know what it is. Kendrick know what it is. Nigga, YG know what it is. Mustard know what it is. Ty Dolla Sign know what it is. Dr. Dre know what it is. Snoop know what it is. Nigga, Hit Boy know what it is. My nigga, Dom Kennedy know what it is. All the powers that be on the West Coast. And I hope my RJ, nigga, everybody, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Everybody on this no, nigga, Draco the ruler know what it was with me, nigga. Um, you know, we chopped it, nigga. We was in the studio, you know, RP is so I had one thing I hate is when the West Coast mom that I with um lose their life. Cool to me. Cool to me. It's cool to y'all. Y'all like to pit niggas up against each other and then go under the mother uh, you know, the comments put R I P this and R I P that when a nigga die and then tell it back as far as the motherfucking Kendrick and Drake. Nigga, that's Kendrick and Drake. You know what I'm saying? They nigga Kendrick do his and uh what he did last night, nigga, that's amazing for the West Coast. Nigga, I sat back and I watched it, nigga. I ain't have to be there, you know what I'm saying, to think that cool the major. That's cool, nigga. I think it's a dub for the coast. I think that what, what K Dot did for a lot of West Coast niggas last night was hard as nigga. I think it was hard. I think it was dope of him and and big hearted of him to do that for niggas. You know what I'm saying? But that nigga learned that shit way up. The same way that he looking out, nigga, niggas didn't look, nigga, Snoop looked out for me like that, nigga. I looked out for my Kendrick like that. I looked out for Nip like that. You know what I'm saying? I looked out for Top Dog before it was, you know, Top, nigga, I could have, nigga, Top Dog, um, Top Dog wanted to give me half a Top Dog. I didn't want nothing from niggas, though, bro. I just wanted to push niggas in the right direction. Nip asked me personally what he could what he could do to pay me back for what I did for him, nigga. I met Nip on the streets, nigga. I brought Nip in the studio, nigga, in Encore Studios, Burbank, California, nigga. I got on two of his songs, nigga, and let him go do his thing, nigga. And Nip rose to his celebrity and to his power, nigga. But, nigga, I was just a step on the ladder for something, you know, uh, I was just, you know, there for a nigga that was already gonna go to the moon. But niggas ain't gonna try to strike Chuck Taylor, nigga, and say I ain't do what I did, nigga. I looked out for everybody on the coast, nigga. Ask Glasses Malone, nigga. Ask anybody that you can ask, nigga. You go ask Big Boy, DJ Head, Fuzzy, nigga, anybody about my name. Chuck Taylor on the West Coast, nigga. I ain't did nothing but look out for niggas. That's all I did, nigga. Put on for my city. I took Compton around the world, nigga. And I died dead for the city, nigga. I personally thought that that was amazing, nigga. He didn't have to do that. But he did it, nigga. And I thought it was dope. As far as my relationship with Drake, nigga, I, nigga, Drake is my brother, nigga. I Drake. Nigga, Drake, nigga, if I call Drake and I told the nigga I need this or I need that, nigga, he gonna do it. If I tell him my kids want concerts, tickets, nigga, he gonna, nigga, they in that, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm a father first, nigga. And, and my loyalty is what? My is loyal to me. You know what I'm saying? If you conspiring, hating, and talking on my back, then it's nigga. It's nigga. And niggas know what it is with me, bro. I'm a stand on 
and you can't move me, nigga, unless you move me. And it take a lot to do that, nigga, because niggas ain't the only niggas out here pushing no lines on the West Coast, nigga. Niggas ain't the only niggas out here pushing lines, nigga. I've been in this 20 month years, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Whack 100. He know. I met that nigga. When I met Whack 100, nigga, it was guns drawn, nigga. He was on Shug's side, nigga. Ask the nigga. I had guns drawn on Shug and Whack, and they had they on us, nigga, and that's what it was, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Ask Wacko and Harley Truck. You know the one Kendrick talk about, nigga. I was around by that's pushing the line on the West Coast, nigga. I done bump heads with nigga Wack 100, Big U, nigga Wacko, nigga everybody, nigga. I didn't bump heads with nigga and held my mother on. And I'm out to smoke walking around every day in LA, nigga. I might be the most seen rap nigga, A list celebrity around this West Coast, East Coast, whatever coast, nigga. If you got a problem with me, nigga, just say it, nigga. Say it, and then, nigga, and let's get to it. Because it could be whatever, nigga. And niggas gonna say, oh, you know, he he too old to do this. And who, nigga, you ain't no mother. You don't write the rhetoric for my life, nigga. I ain't too old to do beat, nigga. I'm me, nigga, where I can't go or where I ain't from or this ain't deep. We ain't, nigga, we don't, if you ain't cool, don't me, nigga. I don't give a nigga. I don't give a nigga. that's truth be told. And again, everybody know what it is with me, nigga. Drizzy, he know what the is with me, nigga. Ask him when you see him what it is with Chuck Taylor. Nigga, ask Top Dog what it is with Chuck Taylor, nigga. Ask Tommy Tom, two T's, nigga, what it is with Chuck Taylor. All of these niggas I done broke bread with, nigga, before this internet came to be a motherfucking thing, nigga. So if anybody asking me how I feel about the K-Dog, K-Dot doing, nigga, I think, it's, I think what he doing is amazing, nigga. I think what Drizzy doing is amazing. I think them niggas just came out of one of the biggest hip-hop beefs ever, nigga, and survived, nigga. Tupac and Biggie didn't. Nigga, me and 50, we, nigga, we beef, we survive, nigga. 50 doing his TV thing, that's cool. I'm doing my shit, that's cool. I put fun to say, you know, oh, game, pick this side and pick that side, nigga. Game, nigga, nigga, game, pick game side, nigga. And Drake, that's my fucking brother, nigga. And Kendrick, that's the homie, he know what it is, nigga. We came up in the Kendrick, watch me do it, nigga. Top Dog, watch me do it. Them niggas had what they had way back then, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I help niggas where I could help niggas. And ain't nobody going to take that from you. Wow. Wow, man. Check it, man. Hey, man. Listen, man. Um, I was just really pretty much uh, looking at what was going on, on on the Internet. And it's Boss Talk 101. So I'm, I'm really just giving you some uh, real good game when it come down to uh, just really like like this Internet is different, man. I'm a big game fan, to be honest with you. I'm from the old school, as y'all already know. I already say that he rocked with the South Hard. So and I rock, you know, with the West Coast thing. I remember when the whole thing was shifting and him and him and 50 was having having their situation. I ain't picked no size then. And to be honest with you, I ain't picking no size now. Uh, I, I love the fact that the, the hip hop thing is happening and people are getting out here and sparring and doing their thing and just hope nothing like like OG Pyro who and me always talk. Uh, he, he, we look at it from two different angles. I look at it as, you know, sparring. He look at it as if things is tripping because somebody can get killed. And, and I agree with that. But hip hop has always been a, a, a sport where people went back and forth. So. With that being said, I think the chatter done pretty much got to the game and he kind of feel like, hey, man, don't email me. Don't DM me. Quit telling me about I didn't make it to this or that, you know, with them, to be honest with you. But he paved his way and he is to be he's a force to be reckoned with when it comes to lyrics. It ain't too many people for the jump out there and even say no when he say something to him. So, you know, you got to respect him. But far as him picking a side with Kendrick and Drake, I feel him like you don't have to pick a side. You can be you can be down with both sides and just stay neutral in the whole situation. But a lot of times people want you to pick. They want to figure out ways to throw, you know, shade and, and hey, you know, this happens, man. But at the end of the day, man, like I said, I, I see game. I hear a lot of little things being said or whatever. But dope dude, man, game cold when it comes to the West Coast. Game cold when it comes to, to the sound of music and jamming. Game jams for me. So, you know, he didn't, He got some hits that I just, you know, I'm going to ride to. I'm a big, like I said, I'm, game is one of them guys that when they come down to it, bar for bar, go. I don't see nobody really just going and stepping to him. And, and then just the way he handled himself as a man and a father, 
I got to respect that. So uh, big, big time uh, game. Uh, I know he went through whatever he might have went through. Everybody go through their ups and downs, man. But we all human and we all go through things. But at the end of the day, he's still a man that got a family, got kids. And at the end of the day, he held his own. He held his own when it comes to parenting. I look at those. I always say the most gangster thing is taking care of your wife and kids, taking care of your family. So I'm rocking with him. And uh, man, just glad to hear from him. And he had to speak out because people started talking. Check it, man. Hey, man, just make sure you like, comment, get into the uh you know, membership for Boss Talk 101. Make sure you guys keep watching, man. We got some dope interviews headed y'all way. As usual, man, I want you guys to have a great weekend. Let's go, man. Stay safe above all. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see me.